Hey guys, so today, or tonight rather, we have sat down to do a bit of a fun video for you. Uh, we're gonna try and film the, what is it called? Gender prediction. <laughs> Predicting the gender of the baby with old wife's tales. So these are obviously not factual or um, based on anything medical. They're just for fun. Um, but we did think it would be fun to do, fun to share with our friends and family and obviously with you guys watching. Um, but also to look back on. So here we go. Let's just get straight into it. So the first lot are just kind of um, statements or questions. So we'll rattle through them. And then I'm going to hand over to Ingemar and he is going to set up a couple for me to do. So the first one is clumsiness. Do you think that I've been more or less clumsy than normal? <laughs> Mm, judging by the things you have broken in the kitchen. That's quite normal though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I don't think you're more clumsy than you were. Okay, so if you're more clumsy, it's supposed to be a boy. And if you're normal, <laughs> then it's a girl. So basically, we're going to say that I'm no more clumsy than normal. So that means a girl. So the next one is the heart rate. So the last time I was at the midwife, she measured the heart rate or listened to the heartbeat of the baby. Um, and the old wise tale says that if it's above 140, it's a girl, below is a boy. And it was pretty much 140, I think maybe slightly above. So we're gonna say girl for that one. The next one is cold feet. So if you have colder feet than normal, it's supposed to be a boy. And if they're the same as they usually are then it's a girl. Uh, we live in Iceland, I live in hiking boots with woolly socks. <laughs> the moment is winter so it would be weird if they aren't colder than normal. I don't think you have colder <laughs> feet than normal. You yeah, should, let's, you, let's just say uh, they're the same. Yeah, we would girl. Say, yeah. <laughs> so the next one is carrying high or low. Now I don't really know what's normal. Um, my sister who just had a kid a couple of months back now or four or five months back now said that I was potentially carrying low so I'm gonna say low. Uh, low means a boy and high means a girl. I don't know how that is figured out but there we go. Hands are they drier than normal so considering it's Iceland and it's winter my skin generally is drier at this point in the year. Uh, drier is a boy and normal is a girl and I would say that Maybe to kind of average things out, my hands are not drier than normal. Um, so I'm gonna say girl for that one. Next one is cravings. Um, salty cravings or salty and savory or boy and sweet as a girl. I don't think I've had many cravings yet. No, I'm still waiting for them. Yeah, I think I probably reach for hummus and <laughs> crackers. The latest one is um, Pringles. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think that, it, that's more salty, isn't it? Yeah. That's not very sweet. Basically just carbs. Yeah. So let's say boy for that one. My so. cravings have been for chocolate. Well, we'll come to that in a minute. Okay, mood. The same or happier is meant to be a boy and moodier is meant to be a girl. Um, I have a friend who is also pregnant, is having a boy and she has described some days where she has complete blissful days. I have definitely not had them. I would love to experience that. I am definitely on the moodier front. So let's say girl, poor Ingmar. Skin, so your skin, I think this refers to kind of more acne and spots. So if it's relatively the same, then it's a boy. If it's worse, then it's a girl. It is said that if you're having a girl, then the baby girl steals the mother's beauty. Um, I don't know, what do you think? <laughs> I think you're pretty much the same. Yeah. <laughs> I, would, I would go for boy on this one. Yeah. Sleeping on um, whichever side, so it is recommended that you sleep on your left side when you're pregnant. I think it helps with the circulation or something like that. Um, so if you sleep on your left, then it's a boy. If you sleep on your right, it's a girl. But at the moment I'm sleeping on my left because that's what's recommended. The next one is headaches. If you get headaches then it's a boy. No headaches and it's a girl. I've definitely had severe headaches. <laughs> um, there's not so many at the moment. I've seemed to, they seem to have died down but 
headaches at the back of my head and then pinpoint headaches across my forehead that's definitely been a thing next one is leg hair <laughs> sexy um, the same or less means that it's a girl and more <laughs> means that it's a boy uh, I would say luckily I've not got any more hairy than normal so I'm gonna say girl and the last one of this kind of section is interestingly the dad's weight so if you've not gained weight um, it's a boy and if you've gained weight ready for having a girl <laughs> What do you reckon? It's a girl. You think you've gained weight? I've gained weight. I know I've gained weight. <laughs> I would actually say that's because of my stress eating with everything going You're on. You're going to be stress eating if it's a girl. <laughs> yeah, I know, but I have been stress eating up until now. Mm, so. yep. Okay, so I'm going to hand over to you now for yeah. the Chinese calendar and the Mayan calendar. Yeah, so the uh, Chinese calendar is based on the birth age, the lunar age of the mother, and then the month is calculated from that. And I calculated Sonia's age no, the, and the looked into the, the chart. The conception month. The conception month, yeah. 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 And yeah. then my age. Yeah. yeah. And judging by that, it was a girl. Uh, taking into account that 2017 for her age had seven months of girl and five of for boys then I'm not <laughs> kind of like not surprised that they predicted a girl so the Mayan calendar works in the way that if the age of the mother and the year of conception birth conception birth is an equal number then it's a girl it, then both numbers so if you have an odd and an even number then it's a boy if it's an even and even or odd and odd then it's a girl if you are going to have babies, then you're only going to have same-sex babies whenever you have babies. So I wouldn't say that this is really reliable. Because you are, when okay. you are, even a, even I think eight. this has all gone over my head anyway. Right, so what do you think it's going to be from that? Uh, according to that, uh -huh. you, it's 17 when you age the year of conception and you are... Did it, don't tell the internet. Yeah, I won't tell the internet. <laughs> even age, even age, yep. Yeah. So that should be a boy. No, yes. I, it wasn't. I wasn't an even age when we conceived. No, you weren't. It's supposed yeah. to be a girl. Yeah, it says girl. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I had a birthday recently. I have a baby brain. Yeah. So the next one is. Do you want to explain them? So we put a cushion on a chair, and under there, I will place either a spoon or a fork, on both, and she will come into the room, and she will sit on one of the chairs and the she will then check the cushion and the instrument <laughs> that she pick that that's under the chair will determine the child so the, if it's a spoon that's underneath the cushion then it's a girl and if it's a fork then it's a boy yeah okay so i'm going to step out the room and yeah. we're going to set it up and then i'll come back and have a seat okay okay <laughs> We are ready for you. I'm gonna sit on this one. Okay. <laughs> Spin. <laughs> we have a girl. Okay, so the next one is the wedding ring, which I think is probably the more famous of these old wife's tales. Um, you're supposed to tie your wedding ring onto a piece of hair or a bit of thread um, and then hang it over my tummy. And if it goes in circles, then it's a girl, or if it goes in a line kind of side to side, then it's a boy. Ring over Tommy? It's doing both, baby. <laughs> we'll just let it settle. Yeah, I'm going to say back and forth. Back and forth it is. Yeah. So, the last one is the key pickup. I will place a key in front of Sonia. How she pre picks up the key will predict the sex of the baby. Okay, so I picked it up at the base. What does that mean? That means it's a boy. Okay, so the last question is what do we think it's going to be? So what do you think? I think it's a boy. I've thought that since probably two or three weeks in. I just had this feeling it's going to be a boy. And I think it's going to be a girl. Okay, so I'm going to tally up the scores. Uh, boys is whatever is on the screen right now and girls is this number on the screen right now. So it might be fun for you guys to pop in the comments down below if you think it's going to be a boy or a girl. And in the next video, we will reveal it to you. So we will see you then. Yep. See you later, guys. Bye.